What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So we got that big companion rework and massive Warframe update tomorrow. Going to be in the Five Fates. And I thought I'd give the lowdown on how to get the most loot in this new update. Because, yeah, Smita's getting nerfed. We'll be reviewing the Smita nerf today. And I'll be showing you how to get the most loot possible because it will not be the Smita, that's for sure. The new, the new loot method will not be the Smita because the Smita is getting basically put on the shelf forever as far as I'm concerned. So let's get right into it. Before we do, make sure you sub this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads, build videos, discussion videos, overview videos, news videos, all that kind of stuff in the right place for Warframe content. Thanks for supporting the recent videos. And yeah, I might sound a little bit annoyed here because uh, once I show you how much usage I have on that Smita come out there nerfing, maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. Okay, so the Smita Kavat, it was the most popular companion in Warframe by a very, very wide margin. If you go ahead and look at my profile here uh, in-game, they can show you my usage percentages, like what you use and all that stuff. And my Smita Kavat was 55.4% usage on my companions. And as far as the companion that's close to it, Panzer Volpophila, 11%. So it's like five times as used as the Panzer Volpophila. So as you can see, I use this thing a lot. I used it in lots and lots of missions, lots and lots of endless missions. And the reason for that is that it gives you doubled and sometimes quadrant or octode loot. It will multiply your loot by a ton if you have good RNG. And the thing about this buff is that this buff right here, Charm, would last for 160 seconds and I could wait. I could like basically have Steel Essence on the ground. It's like, okay, or Vitus Essence on the ground. It's like, all right, well, there's there's a bunch of Vitus Essence on the ground. I don't want to wait uh, or I don't, I don't want to like pick it up not doubled because I have my Smita come out doubling it. I'm going to wait until the right moment to pick that stuff up. Hope it doesn't despawn. Hope it doesn't do this, doesn't do that. I'm going to wait for the right moment to pick it up. In this change going forward, uh, every companion will get access to that doubling buff, but it will be no longer a duration-based buff. It will be a, just a chance on any pickup. So that means that, you know, don't focus too much on just the numbers here. We're going to go over the numbers of what's changing, but don't focus too much on the numbers because the actual player behavior needs to be taken into account too. If you just are tunnel visually on numbers here, you're going to think it's better than it actually is because this will be a big nerf to Smita uh, specifically. All right, so let's go ahead and go over what they're nerfing on your boy Smita Count Kirby. Uh, and it's going to be right here. So the charm ability of Smita did a bunch of stuff, but it, remember, it is all RNG. So this stuff's not going to proc guaranteed ever. You could literally go for an entire mission and have no procs. But here's what they'll be changing to the charm buff for the Smita. The resource buff and credit multiplier have been removed from charm and promoted to being another separate mod, Loyal Retriever, which will be equivalent on all beasts. Charm's chance to apply a buff on activation has been increased to 40%. So it's currently like 27%, so they are buffing the proc chance at least. But yeah, they are removing the resources and credit multiplier from the affinity buff. So now your available buffs are going to be a 25% chance of a reinforced shield. Basically, it doesn't even do anything. 25% 25% chance of an instant reload. And yes, it will reroll it if your current weapon does not need a reload. So an instant reload. It's something you could hardly even notice sometimes. 20% chance of free ability cast. It's basically like a 15 second buff of con of like free ability cast, like they said. So you just get infinite energy for like 15 seconds. Not guaranteed a proc again. 10% chance of a bonus critical chance buff. See, the way they worded this makes it sound like it's a different buff than it currently is because the way the buff works right now, it just sets all your crit chance to 200. That's not bonus 200% crit chance. It's just setting your crit chance to 200, and that's what makes it a nerf a lot of the times for some of our high-end builds. We have builds with 400% crit chance. The more When you go above 200% crit or 100% crit chance, you are reapplying the crit damage. That's what an orange crit and a red crit is in Warframe. An orange crit is reapplying the crit multiplier because you're at 200% crit chance. Red crit, applying it again, you know, so on and so forth. You can actually go above red crits technically and keep reapplying that critical damage. But that's the thing. When we get this orange crit buff from the, the Smita, it becomes a nerf because if you're running a red crit build, now you're, you're you're losing so much crit damage and you can't even turn it off. So I am hoping that with this change, they are nerfing the main ability I use with the Smita. I'm hoping that they buff the abilities that become a debuff in actual gameplay. Like I said, don't focus too much on the numbers. If you focus too much on the numbers, you might be tunnel visioning on, okay, well, they, they said it. it's technically, it's mathematically a buff now. You need to actually see in practice how these actually work in game, okay? So I'm hoping that, that buff got actually buffed and became becomes plus 200% bonus crit chance, not setting your crit chance to 200 because that is an active nerf in a lot of the situations I'm using those uh, the Smita in. 
But I might even not even use the speed ever again after this changes, honestly. Next one, the one that they nerfed, the 10% chance of bonus affinity. Now, they, they are going to compensate a little bit. They did remove the credit and resource boost, the main thing we used it for, but the affinity bonus itself has been changed to from a double X multiplier to a 3X multiplier. But the thing is, man, how long are you taking to level these things up, right? Like, why do you need a 3X multiplier? What, are you an ESO for like two minutes and you want to make it last like one minute, 40 seconds? Like, sure. But again, as I keep repeating over and over again, this is not a guaranteed buff. It's a 40% chance, and it has all these buffs to choose from, so your chances of this happening when you want it are extremely low. And when you're not doing that, the companion is basically useless because it's just sitting around waiting for its buff, basically. And for the last buff, a 10% chance of a rare re of getting a rare resource. Now everyone realizes this about the Smita. It actually has a buff where it'll cough by rare resource. So like if you're ever in the void and you're like, where did that Argon Crystal come from? It might have it might have come from your cat, your Smita Kavat, just coughing it up, basically. So if we look at this. Now that this is getting changed, the main reason the Smita was being used, doubling resources and credits, is now going to be on every companion. And we're going to explain exactly how that works here. And they have removed, they have removed the main ability, but they've, they've compensated by giving more XP. Yeah. How, when, when do you ever need that much XP? The, well, the meta leveling farms of this game have need minimal time, if that. So I don't understand what that's going to be. Like, that's that's not even a buff, really. Like, you might as well have not changed it. You can put this in the patch notes and then not even change it in-game and no one would even know. It's because you just get double XP already. So triple XP, like, what's the big difference, dude? Either way, they're going to be moving that mod to Loyal Retriever, the loot uh, doubler. So this will be for any beast companion. It provides a 13% chance that each resource or credit pickup will be doubled. And this effect is always active. There is no cooldown, no duration, no waiting for it to be ready. So, right, you can you can view that as a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to view it as a... I, I, can't even, I can't even say one or the other right now because, as I stated earlier, we waited for the right time to pick up the loot before. We were... Like, I don't care about a loot double of, like, a ferrite drop or, like, a plastid. I want the good stuff doubled. So when I have no duration, I have no agency over when this proc is just RNG... Farming is going to be worse, okay? Because every time you pick something up, it's not it's it's not like, okay, I have control over the situation of when it's loot. It's, it's like, pick it up. That's all you can do. All you can do is just pick it up and hope that it, it doubles. But that model will be a 13% chance to give uh, a doubled up resource or credit pickup. The effect is... So if you have a Smita already, you will get this mod when you log in for free automatically. But in the future, it will be purchased for conservation tags and the Earth Conservation Vendor. They choose 13% as it, the statistical average of what time the charm buff would be active. But, you know, that's not extremely helpful because we like to camp with that buff. Now, that's not going to be the mega loot strat. The mega loot strat is actually going to involve different mods. Uh, and let's go over the how you can get the most loot in this new update because Smita is getting fired, basically. Okay, for the maximum loot in the new update, Comey and the Five Fates, I'm going to go ahead and show you the, me the meta method. All right, so for these new mods, we got two new mods called Prosperous Retriever and Resourceful Retriever. For Prosperous Retriever, it will increase the doubling loot chance from 13 to 18, but it will no longer work on resources. It only works on credits. So if you want to farm the Profit Taker or you want to farm, like, credits, I guess, you would get this Prop Prosperous Retriever mod, and that will be purchased for conservation tags in the Venus Conservation Vendor. So you go out and get some Popper tags, you go get some Cooper Don tags, whatever they end up making them cost, you would go to Venus and get this mod. Now, that's not the one that I want. As someone that has a billion plus credits, I don't need that one. What I want, as someone that farms Kuva and Steel Essence and Vitus and all that stuff, is re Resourceful Retriever. This will be the new meta right here, okay? This is, this is there's no way, there's literally no way it's not the meta because this is literally made for us. Resourceful Retriever, another specialized alternative. This variant provides a 18% chance that will uh, each pickup resource will be doubled. This version does not have a chance for double credits. So if you don't care about credits, you want to get Resourceful Retriever from the Dimos Conservation Vendor. And everyone in the game is trying to want this mod. And again, these will work on any campaign, not just Smita, because Smita is basically being fired. You can put this on your Darza Kavat, you can put this on your uh, chest of Kubra, you can put on whatever. And as far as the most loot in the game, let's go ahead and show the most loot in the game after this patch. I'm going to go ahead and show you a build, actually. Uh, it's basically made for this because I like to over-prepare sometimes. So we are in our ship now. And here we are with the... What is this thing called? I, I got to get used to the new Kubra or the old Kubra name because I don't really care about this stuff. So we got Rip over here. Rip is a 
Desecration Kubra. I don't know what they're called, actually. Chessa Kubra. Okay, so this guy right here is the new loot meta because they removed the only other good loot ability from... Uh, from Smita, so your options are going to be basically Retrieve, which gives Ikubra a 40%, 45% chance to scavenge additional loot from a fallen enemy or container every, uh, within 30 meters every 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds, you have a 45% chance for an extra loot drop from an enemy or container. The other options for extra loot are not going to be as extensive. As you can see, we do have an open mod slot for that new mod right here. It should be like 7 or 9 dra uh, drain, honestly. So open mod slot here. R reminder too. That you might be like, hey, where's why do you have Tenacious Bond and no Bite Mod on here? Why do you have, uh, you know, all this stuff that's not going to actually work? Because in the new update, the Bite Mod will actually go on your pet's claws. There will be a new weapon slot right here for pet's claws. And you put Bite on there. You put on, you know, whatever the new mods are. You put Maul on there. You put on all these mods that aren't going to be on the pet anymore. So that's why there's a bunch of mod slots missing on here. We've got some Mecha set bonus stuff ready to go. we got some Tenacious Bond ready to go. Momentous Bond for Instant Revive. And of course, with Mecha Recharge and Hasten Deflection, we have quite a bit of shield regen. Now, I don't think this, this UI is working properly here, but um, the way that it's worded here, at least, makes it sound like it's going to be a 0.3 second shield recharge delay, and you get 161 shields per second. So this thing would be really tanky, but it doesn't seem to actually work like that in mission. So there might be a little bit of weirdness with these shield regen mods with the Kubra, but either way, I want to try this out on day one. And yeah, this will be the new maximum loot pet. For the, for the carrier, you would think carrier might be pretty good for loot with a new looter buff, but unfortunately, the new doubling mod, Resourceful Retriever, I think it's called, only works on Beast Companion. So that's why we have limited options. It's like, okay, you have speed up for tripling your XP. That's all it's going to do now. You have a Darza for increasing crit. You've got Vasca, I don't know, Vasca brings you back from the dead. This is the only remaining loot, like doggo or like. Uh, animal companions. So this is a, basically your only option, the chest of Kubra. So I said go up, get some get some chonkers for that one. Um, Lotus chonkers can be pretty cool. I've currently got the uh, the Helmuth Charger Mort Mitis skin, so that looks pretty sweet in mission. But yeah, guys, your new upcoming meta for loot will be. Let's get the rundown real quick. Chest of Kubra retrievability, resourceful retriever mod from Dimos Tags. And then, of course, you run boosters and stuff like that all the time. So Chess, or Chessa is now going to be replacing Spita. Um, the other abilities of Chessa is getting buffed. Uh, I think it's called like uh, Savagery or something. No, Neutralize. This will become a AoE uh, disarm, but I don't think it will be as strong as strong enough to actually warrant an actual mod slot. Duplex Bond is not needed, but it does keep the dog alive longer. So there will be more flexibility on the build. And, of course, you don't have to run the exact build mod for mod. Who actually does that? Some people do that. But, yeah, you don't need to run every single build or every single mod uh, on here mod for mod you could definitely put on like you know hunter synergy on your on your claws when it comes out it will give you a bunch of crit chance you could put on like um aerial bond for quicker revives you could put on all this different stuff and then, of course when the claws come out you can put on mods like flame gland and frost jaw to make it like fire procs or ice procs or whatever like that so hope you guys found this video fun helpful um i am probably done using smita forever after this patch i i will try i will try it out okay i will see if they buff the crit chance buff <laughs> buff the buff. Um, I will see if the crit chance buff is not a debuff anymore. And I will see if, you know, other if anything else is better. They are buffing the mischief ability of the speed up a little bit. Like, it's going to make the mischief illusion, like, blind either my enemies for, like, five seconds or something. Something something not very good. Like, something that's not going to make the speed up actually good. Um, so, yeah. Rest in peace, Count Kirby. It was a good run we had, dude. We went through about, like, I don't even know how many years with Count Kirby being so good. Yeah, they're buffing this ability. Uh, and he's going to be... It is, it is literally intentionally made to be a Smita nerf. So the fact that he is being nerfed, in my eyes, a lot is entirely intended. So hopefully you guys enjoy using other companions for loot going forward. Like I said, Chessa was one to look out for. I'm looking at the Pharaoh Predacite too and the Adarza. So there's be plenty of good options going forward. So see you guys next time. Pre-Support and take it easy. Peace.